Do you guys want a Yahoo? Please. This Yahoo was sent in by Zoe Kansky. Oh. Thank you, Zoe. It's by Yahoo. Climbing that ladder. Yeah, I almost said, I almost just like let her rip with a nickname. Um, well, her kind of thing is climbing that ladder. Climbing that Zoe ladder. Kinsky's well, but then thing. what if she's on top? Then it's we're being... Falling diminished. off that ladder. <laughs> Falling off. Falling off that ladder, but grabbing back onto it at the last second. But now she's about midway down. Got to climb her way back Top up. of the ladder. About six rungs up. Uh, okay. Wait. Quick quick aside. Uh, I was listening to a clip uh, that somebody had posted on YouTube of My Brother, My Brother, Me. Because I thought it would be... It was just called My Brother, My Brother, Me Extra Bit. And I thought maybe it was something funny that I had done. And I needed to brighten my day a little bit. So I thought, oh, man. That would feel good. And I listened to it. It was just a bit where we were like calling people's names out at the end for tweeting about the show. Do you remember when we used to do this? Yeah. This is like episode 150, if I remember correctly. So over, like basically over two years ago. And one of the names I thanked for tweeting about us was Drew Davenport. That dude has been on the bus for so long, much longer than I realized. Yeah. And he didn't, he wasn't, he didn't have, he wasn't the Drew Davenport back then. He had to he listen. Was aw, he was aw, Drew Davenport. One of multiple Drew aw. Davenports. So, sorry, Zoe Kinski climbing that ladder. Let me get that Yahoo from you. Uh, it's by Yahoo Answers user Benjamin C. who asks, Is Mountain Dew screwing with my head and increasing my sex drive? Mm-hmm. Hey guys, smiley face. Okay, so, I had my first bottle of Mountain Dew about five days ago. Since then, I've been having like one to two 500 milliliter bottles a day. Just today, my girl, just today, my girlfriend said I've been acting weird slash different. I'm only 16, but apparently my sex drive has increased and I've become, quote, cocky. Cocky means cheeky, saying things that are risky that I usually wouldn't say. I think that's <laughs> Th- what it means thanks. anyway. Thanks, Marion Webster. I think that's what it means anyway. So do you guys think it's okay to do... With the do. I'm English, by the way. So the do only just recently arrived. Man, I love this stuff. But depending on what you guys think, I reckon I'll quit doing the do. What do you think? Thanks. And then, just to bookend it, another smiley face. Okay, one. I love anybody who says cocky. Oh, you probably don't know what that means. Uh, Here's what it means. Anyway, that's what I think it means. God, if only there was some way to figure it out for sure. Griffin, is it possible that this is a Mountain Dew buzz marketing, like, British thing? Where they're like, I guess it made me sex too good? I don't know, you guys. You should check it out. I drink, like, two bottles of it a day. I, it just got here to England. It's it's this new thing called Mountain Dew that apparently it makes is, your sex real good? It's amazing to me. The, the amazing thing to me is that this shit's just now getting over to the aisles. As I right. as I call them, because to call well, them. it had to go on the ships. Yeah, and yeah, and they got lost. There's there's two reasons why I find this wonderful. Is first of all the fact that it only just arrived. This venerable brand that I wish we had picked up instead of Powerade. Probably the same company owns them anyway. Uh, this means I intimate from this knowledge that uh there has been somebody or a group of people in the aisles that have been just viciously fighting to keep mountain dew off their shores just yeah, just there's scenes of them just like dumping it into a harbor or or just like maybe there's some some politicking some embargoes trade embargoes going on just to keep just to keep this neon power juice out Mr. of the- Prime Minister we will not do that do no, we don't do it Except and also they have a british accent the second thing, though, is it makes sense to me all of a sudden why British people drink so much tea that's not good. Like, not they drink not great tea most of the time. And it's just because they haven't, like, other better beverages just aren't available yet. But they're coming around now, and pretty soon it's going to be due in a biscuit, love. It's 5.30. <laughs> it's due time. due time. It's due time, baby. <laughs> it's 5.30. Due in a biscuit, love. It'll, 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 you gotta, will, we have to, will that trickle down here? Will we have to start calling our smallest tablespoons, um, will, we, will we call them dew spoons? Dew spoons, mm-hmm. yes, exactly. Three dew spoons of olive oil uh, And when you recipe? when you put your balls in another person's mouth, you're dew bagging them, yes. <laughs> that That is... Um, but one right wing, that, right wing conservatives will be called do partiers, and that sounds amazing to me. Ooh, that, I, would like a, that I, would yeah, I would join that group. I would join that group in too. a heartbeat. Uh, I think part of the problem that I'm having answering this question authoritatively, which I would love to do, uh, is that they did not specify what flavor of Mountain Dew they were drinking. 
And as I'm about to fill you guys in on, there are 69 different flavors of Mountain Dew they could be imbibing. 69. So, yeah, nice. nice. They have to stop there. They can never make another <laughs> or one. Or this is the most extreme number, gentlemen. We shan't make a new Dew. So I'd like to hit you guys with a few flavors, and you tell me if they are real or fake. Ooh, okay. Game. I like to call Do or No Do. There is are no try. That's a good that's a good name. No, he's doing a Th- deal or no deal thing. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so here's my first one. Okay. Mountain Dew, Johnson City Gold. Don't waste my time. Okay. Is that real? No. No, that's real. It's a flavor variant with a uh a, a part of a regional dew promotion. And it has a distinct, it's a distinctive malt flavored soda from the creators of Mountain Dew. Oh my God. Malt Mountain- like distinct. It would be distinctive. Yeah, it would it be would an be. unforgettable. This is just experience. like all those other malt flavored sodas. Doitos. Mountain Dew Doitos. I'm going to say that's real. I- what would you think it is? Dorito Travis. flavored. Correct. It is real. It was tested on college campuses in 2014. Oh my! Mountain God. Dew Frigid Blast. No, that's not real. You stumbled I mean, over it. I made that one up. Yeah. Mountain Dew Thin Ice Freeze. That one, yes. I'm going to go real. Maybe like as a Happy Feet promotion? Dragon Fruit, Acai, and Pomegranate flavors. <laughs> of course. Mm, that's what I want. Mm, I'll have Mount- that. Excuse me, sir. Do you have this on tap? Mountain Dew k- Kryptonite Ice. Yeah. That's real. For That's sure. super real. There is a lot of flavors of Mountain Dew, and they are not as funny to read as I thought they would no, be. They is never there are. one that's like Crystal Dew? I feel like somebody sent that to us recently. Yeah, and like that's, just... that's the one that uh, tastes like Crystal Bernard's sweat. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Then the original tagline for that was, it'll give you wings. But uh-huh. then fucking Red Bull chomped that flavor. And they had to change it to, it'll make you watch wings. It'll make There's one. Mountain Dew grape. <laughs> no, no, there was there was Mountain Dew. <laughs> then there's parentheses. Think of better title later. <laughs> it is it is only available in twelve ounce cans in certain Japanese vending machines. <laughs> Bill, will you punch this up later? Thanks, Tim. Thanks. Maybe like pre wine juice f- blast or something i don't know <laughs> i'm thinking maybe like extreme mountain splash i don't know you'll think of something you're a genius so this is weird one of the yahoos i picked out for us to do on this episode was actually a quiz about monster energy flavors and i'm wondering if i should just jettison that into the archives um no you should actually probably do it right now yeah you should do it right now quiz flip flipping the quiz I'm gonna Quiz flip. I have some monster energy flavors based on this Yahoo sent in by Chase Greenlee. Thank you, Chase. Asked by Yahoo Answers user Invisible. They're gone. They're dead. Uh, but they asked, what are all the monster energy flavors? And Yahoo Answers user also not available. Man, Yahoo, you need to get your fucking website right. Uh, reply with a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm just going to hit you with, with some with some of them. And you tell me if they're real or not. In a game we like to call Do or No Do 2. This is my guess. Yeah. Frankenberry, Boo Berry, Fruit Brute, uh, Yummy Mummy, no, Count no, no, Chocula. No. no, these are beverages that are drank by DJs to help them fucking party harder. How about uh, Monster Assault? Ooh. Yeah, I think that's real. Yeah, Monster Low Carb. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, that one's real. Monster Mixed. Real. No, no not real. That's right, Justin. It's not real. Now, Monster, <laughs> monster Mixed with two X's. <laughs> Real. Yeah, that one's that one's on point. How about Monster Rehab? Real. Yeah, that's a whole chain. They got they got uh tea lemonade and energy flavor, which I guess now is do do lemonade and energy. It's a it's a delicious cocktail. Is it supposed to be like getting you over hangover? Is that the idea? It's anti monster. It's it nullifies the monster already coursing through your veins, poisoning you from within. It's, How about it's mo- basically liquid silver. How about monster hitman? Oh yes. Yeah, that's another chain of flavors. They're uh, Monster Shots, three fluid ounces of straight party juice. Uh, Monster Hitman. When you only have a short break in between the two records you're playing as a party DJ. Right. There's Monster Hitman Regular, who, and if you drink that, you're an idiot. Because you should instead 
jump on Monster Hitman Lobo and Monster Hitman Sniper. Monster <laughs> Hitman Sniper. Monster Hitman Sniper was the name of a product that Monster created. And they said, we need a name for this horrible poison shot. And someone said, Monster Hitman Sniper. And they said, you just said three different words that are sound scary. And of course, that's what we're going to name it. Happy birthday, Robert. This is your present. We're going to go with your bad, bad idea that you came up Mon- with at this monster meeting. Monster Hitman Sniper sounds like the the translated Japanese title that Die Hard would have. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's, that's what they call it in Japan. Uh, there's there's some crazy shit up in here. Espresso Monster Hammer. <laughs> it's just like weird <laughs> three words. How about Espresso Monster and Hammer? Yeah, cool. Why not? Hey, hey, there's hey, also let me, let me... Italian Cafe Monster. There's Vienna Monster. Remember that waiter, the Jean-Luc? The and he did that, that sick kickflip over the table. <laughs> hey, how about... <laughs> he, let me hit you with... Karate chop my lawn chair now. How about this? Laser Monster Sword. Well, yeah, let's just... Yeah, Laser Monster Sword, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, as long as we get Monster in there, the other two words just have to sound radical. Hey, how about Jetpack Monster Monster? So two monsters... <laughs> Yeah, but, like, the second one's not the brand. It's, like, an actual monster. How about Mother of All Monsters? That's pretty good, too. How about Monster, Monster, Monster? I'm loving (laughs) it. 